Hey there. Roses have so many pests and diseases, it can be a real nightmare just identifying them. So here's a few places to look and things to look out for, which will help you pinpoint what's making your rose sick. I know this sounds obvious, but a good place to start is just to see if they have enough water, even outdoors. The easiest way to find out is just by pressing your finger under the surface of the soil. You've got very sensitive fingertips and they'll let you know if something is pretty moist or very dry. The next step is just to check underneath the leaves and around the branches and canes because this is where the pests or fungus will be hiding. It sometimes seems like roses have got their own encyclopedic library of all the different diseases and blights and canker and borers and suckers, fungus, catastrophic Everyone loves the rose, it seems. With so many pests, sometimes you will find a problem you don't recognise. Take a photo and match it online. This will be the quickest way to identify not just the cause, but also the treatment for your local conditions. This is the lovely black spot, an unsightly disease which will strip the leaflets off your plant. Spray it with an antifungal. But be warned, you can't save the leaflets that already have this. They will yellow and drop off, but you can prevent the spores from spreading. Oh, and not everything that looks like black spot is black spot. More about this in an upcoming video. But to end with, some Katie dids. I really like these guys, I'd never heard them. But they will eat your rosebuds, so you will need to move them off the plant. I actually put them in a bag and walk them down to the reserve at the back and release them on one of the plants there. I'm sure they come back because I know I'm a soft touch.